Liam, um, one derby down, another one to go. What can we expect to see differently from you guys this week? Um, well, we'd like to improve. Um, at the start, we were a little bit rusty on the weekend, which um, which we're the first one up to, but um, really impressed with how Frio um, held themselves on the weekend. They played a really uh, great brand of footy, and um, for us, it's it's back down to basics. Um, we'll beat in most facets of the game, and um, we need to win around the footy, and I think that's what our main focus will be uh, this week. How do you feel like you did for the group week? It seemed like they were well on top, particularly in that first half. Yeah, that's a fair statement. We, um, yeah, we definitely felt that out there, and their quality of their clearances was was what was hurting us. So, um, yeah, we need to be able to nullify that and, and, in turn, win a bit more of our own footy and send it down to our forwards. How are you going with that? Are you spending way more time with your than usual? Um, was that sort of like a little glimpse into you know when it's really going against you? What do you do? Yeah, yeah, it's um, definitely obviously been doing a lot of work with the midfielders and um, first opportunity to come up against another opposition that's not ourselves. So um, I wouldn't say it was a wake up call to me, but it, it definitely shows um, you know the quality of the players that you're going up up against in the midfield, and um, there's a lot of onus on on the midfield to, to get the job done for the team. What type of um, I think a versatile one at this stage. Obviously, we've got a few injuries in there, and, and hence why I'm sort of rolling through there at the moment. But um, yeah, for me, it's to be yeah to be versatile and just play my role in there. Really, um, you know, I'm sort of trying to suck a heap of knowledge off those boys that are in there already, and um, I've got a lot of learning to do in there, which um, which is exciting for me. But um, I think it's just to, to get down to basics, hunt the footy, and, and run hard. You seem to have a, a bit of a defensive focus at times when you fight. Is that going to be part of your game? I think that's more just a natural way I play through the midfield. Obviously, being a, a defender for the last four years, so. Um, yeah, I find if, if that can be a strength of mine and, and what I can bring to the midfield, then um, so be it. I don't sort of go out there to, to purposely do it, but um, the way it sort of seems to go is I, I run a few defensive patterns, and in turn I've got to learn to, to maybe get after the footy a little bit more because it can work both ways. So, so it's not like a tagging role as such, it's just a, maybe you've just got a defensive mindset. Um, yeah, a little bit, and you see Nathan Fife running around and sometimes he, uh, you know, you want to stay a little bit closer to him because he's so damaging, but um, yeah, just something that just happens. I think it's just naturally built into my game at the moment. I'm sure you do it a bit at the end of last year because of injuries and now it's injury based again. But is this a permanent thing for you? Do you want to be a midfielder permanently or is this just a, can you hold things up until we get everybody back? Yeah, well, I, I want to do what's best for the team and at the moment that's to, to fill the, a spot in the midfield and um, obviously it's it's tough. Like that. We've got a great midfield when they're all up and going and um, for me it's a little bit like where do you fit sort of thing. But um, yeah, at the moment just going through there is, is to, we've got a few cattle sitting up in the stands. so. Um, yes, yeah, to fill that hole, and um, whether it's midfield for the year or the rest of my career, that'd be, that'd be great. But also knowing I can flip to defence when needed. What do you like doing better? Are you going to say the team thing? But yeah. just, if you had to pick one, which would you prefer? Uh, I made it a bit public at the best and fairest that I like uh, uh, to be a defender. But um, yeah, obviously, it's great to be able to, to be in there and growing as a midfielder and try something different. I obviously, came to the club starting as a midfielder, so. Um, Dom Shee jokes that I'm, I'm fourth time lucky at, at having to go in there. I've been kicked out every time, but um, we'll see how we go this time. Um, I didn't see it impact the game too much. I, I didn't see the incident that everyone's been talking about live, and um, I, I just, yeah, everyone's adapting still, umpires and us. So um, I didn't see it impact the game too much, and and obviously I can't really speak of that that incident because I didn't actually see it um, during the game. But um, heard the fifty call, but didn't see what happened. So. Did you, what about when? Yeah, sorry, when you were on the mark, did you find like yourself wanting to go? Or? Uh, yeah, I think there's always a yeah. You want to go. You want to. Yeah, you know, just used to it. But um, you know, it's obviously just listening to the umpire's call. You hear stand, you stand, and um, I just asked the question: Can you still jump up and down if you're on that same spot? That was um, that was all good to do. On the I, I was that's man, okay. yeah, that's okay. Um, trying to stop a goal, but yeah, I, I didn't see it impact too much. Um, get a little break on the mark when they say stand, so just take it. <laughs> and you can go backwards, or you can't go. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Well, once you've been told to stand, you just stand. I think so. That's um, that's my understanding. Yeah. Is it hard to retrain your brain? Um, a little bit, but yeah, that's just part of it. It's um, you know we just got to get on with it, and and um, and I think that's what the boys will do. And um, hopefully, there's not too much about it. But um, yeah, as I said, I don't think it's going to impact too much. But it's just retraining the brain. Have you had a chance to play um, any good few minutes with like Adam Dewey in an actual game? I can't remember last year if you actually had the full strength midfield, but could you win there as well? Um, Probably not from from memory. Um, yeah, it probably hasn't looked so much that way unless there's been an injury in game, which I can't really remember. But um, 
yeah, it's probably one thing I haven't haven't really tried being in that sort of the A grade midfield, I suppose, when they're all starting on ball. So um, yeah, it'd be nice to have a go at that, um, that one day. Um, potentially, yeah. I'm not sure who's who's going to be available or not, but um, yeah, obviously I'll just fit in where I do, and um, it's been great fun in there at the moment working with the boys that are there, and, and obviously pre-season minutes have done a fair bit with them anyway. So um, although it's against ourselves, it's it's still been good to, to build that chemistry. You get in next year and say, mate, just look after me a couple of times, give me the shoey treatment. Yeah, well, that'd be nice. I'm just not as quick as shoey, so it's harder for me to get out. But um, yeah, no, it's obviously you got to have a great connection with the ruckman. It's um, it's pretty important for. Um, for our on-field performance, so it's um, definitely something to look into. Do you think you'll get a bit of a lift from the fans this weekend? Oh, no doubt. I think both sides will, um, for that sense. Uh, but yeah, there's there's nothing better than having having some crowd there to watch, and um, you know we obviously get a lot of energy off off our fans being at the game. How pleased are you for Alec Waterman? Looks like he's going to get another gig at Essendon. You, you guys would have been drafted in the, in the same year and spent first couple of years at West Coast together? Yeah, yeah, it's great for um, for Alec. It's obviously you heard about his performance um, over East uh, in their practice games, but yeah, it'd be a, a massive opportunity for him. He's obviously had a tough road, which um, which most of us know about, but uh, yeah, great opportunity for him over there, and, and um, yeah, hopefully all goes well for him and, and he lands that spot, because it'd, it'd be great to see. So um, yeah, he must be in some form over there, the big fella. What was it like seeing him not be able to do the things that you guys were doing when he was here? Yeah, it was. Oh, it was obviously pretty tough um, for him, especially. The, like he missed a lot of a lot of time at the footy club, and um, and I don't think he had a whole heap of answers, sort of thing, for what was going on. So um, yeah, it was obviously hard to see him go through that. But the fact that he's been able to, to stick at it, come back to play some good waffle footy, and now get a chance um, over east at, at Essen, and that'd be um, yeah, it'd be a pretty good story, I think. How's your um, thumb? Your hand? How's that going? Yeah, my thumb. Uh, I had an operation on my thumb at the end of last year, and uh, yeah, it's it's all good. I still just tape it up, wear a um, wear a bit of a bash guard on it just to protect it a little bit. But it's um, it's all pretty good. Yeah, not sure. That's uh, that's a day to day thing at the moment. So um, we'll see what happens. I could wake up tomorrow and it'll all be gone. But um, yeah, having some fun with the mullet at the moment. So it's uh, yeah, it's been alright. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously um, really tough news for, for Tom and his family and um, you know our, our thoughts and prayers as, as a footy club and as a playing group um, go out to them and yeah, we'll be there to support him and his family um, where we need, so it's um, yeah, obviously really sad news. Since you are sort of looking to spend more time in midfield, you're going to try and sneak forward and kick a couple of goals this season. I think you and Tom probably might have just beat you out as far as goals can go lately. Yeah, it's been a it's been a bit of a drought for me um, up forward, but yeah, that'd be nice. We, we we've spoken about that as a midfield group to be um, to be more uh, I suppose influential on the scoreboard, which is something that we lacked as a group probably last year. So um, yeah, if the opportunity arises, you got you got to take them, and um, yeah, it's it's going to be important. So if I can if I can get on the end of one, that'd be that'd be nice as a midfielder because uh, yeah, I've been starved of a couple of opportunities down back lately. What do you see any changes? I mean, there will be some changes obviously from Saturday to Sunday, but anything in the way the team will structure or play come back in better. Um, obviously, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure who's going to be available, but hopefully we get a, a few boys back, um, or even for, for longer minutes, um, like Shuey was to play a half, so hopefully he's got a bit longer in him, but um, yeah, I don't think too much will change, we'll just have to get back to what, what we were focusing on in the pre-season and um, try and bring that out on the weekend, because yeah, obviously Frio um, played a, a really strong brand of footy and, and we just weren't up to it on the weekend, so it, it'll be just as basic as, as matching it against them and, and actually bringing a few of the things that we've been training during the pre-season.